Welcome to Wednesday Waffle. Well, you've seen Desmond's got his mask on, so you know we've got some news for you. We're going to talk about stickers, some possible freedoms, a grounded drone, off in dawn day trip. And as part of that, some vindication. This video was going to be called Police Camera No Action. I'll probably have stuck with Vindication, but you'll know by what's written below the video in the title. I might even call it something else, who knows. But let's get on. We'll start with stickers. We'll get the nice bit out of the way. We've uh, received another sticker and a lovely card and uh, a business card in with it too. And who's the sticker from? It's from Our Vision Nomadic Living. Another channel worth a watch. And the card says, thanks for the sticker swap. We appreciate, appreciate your interest and support. So travels and we enjoy following your adventures. Sean, Angie and Jazz. Well, thank you and I enjoy following yours. <laughs> so, possible freedom. It could be that last Sunday, Saturday's trip was our last day trip Donda. Why is that? Because there is a good chance that as of Friday we will be set free to Donda again as self-contained units are allowed to travel further and to stay overnight. So as you couldn't get more self-sustained than a motorhome. We're probably going to be going away for the weekend. Bitches! <laughs> <laughs> we hope that happens and uh, we're looking forward to it. Vindication? No, let's not do vindication. Next. The grounded drone. It's not really grounded. I could fly it using my remote control via the app on a phone or a tablet. Um, pretty much the, the way people who didn't buy the control unit uh, would do. Um, because it's a control unit that's US. And I've actually got a few flights left in the control unit because it's a battery charging issue. The plug that you charge and connect OTG to the controller is broken. Um, I have a replacement coming and I hope it will be here very very soon and uh, once that's here we'll get flying again full time. So at the moment my flying is very limited as I'm trying to keep it for my first trip away. And there's the rain started. The Pindorn day trip. Lovely day trip. We went to a different spot uh, for those that know Findorn, it's at the bird hide uh, which overlooks the bay itself rather than out to the Firth and uh, we basically sat and watched the tide come in. Um, there was a bit more to it than that but uh, we walked, we filmed, we did a time lapse and we we had a um, a walk up to see the Nimrod, we had lunch we didn't stop for tea because by the time we felt like eating tea, it was really past time to go home. And so we went home and had something to eat there. Um, it was just a, such a warm, warm day compared uh, to, to previous. And uh, the weather forecast wasn't that good and it was a superb day. Unfortunately, to the west and east of the Moray area, um, rain and thunderstorms. Apparently we'd had a storm at seven o'clock in the morning, you know, at home. And much to Craig's disgust, Lindsay and I both slept right the way through it. So where, or where does this vindication come in for, or as possibly suggested, uh, police, camera, no action? Well, there was a little bit of action. We were sitting, chilling. Um, I was on the radio. And uh, Lindsay noticed somebody 
wandering about looking strangely at the van and then suddenly right, it seemed to stop and write down the number. Lindsay went straight out to challenge him, see what was going on. I finished off my, my over and followed. The guy, the guy said he was local uh, as part of the conversation and objected to camper vans being on, on the car park. Um, lockdown, COVID-19, shouldn't be here, blah, blah, blah. So I tried to explain to him. Um, he wasn't, he was just getting more and more frantic, more and more ridiculous with what he was saying. And I can understand that. The guy was probably scared. But he was saying all sorts of ridiculous things. And uh, I know I'm English, but he was very, very English, very, very proper. And I suspect not local. Um, he had a military haircut, military style, you know, Tash and uh, spoke and acted um, like many a frustrated officer, shall we say. Somebody who has a chip on their shoulder and uh, maybe thinks they should be the, the camp commandant or whatever the army call their, uh, <laughs> their boss on the camp, um, and he isn't. Anyway, he was, he was having a ramp and he was really having a go. He upset Lindsay. Um, I tried to explain what was going on, but ended up, as I said to him, look, I'm not doing anything wrong, I'm within my rights, and within the law, um, to do what I'm doing. He started going on and on and on. So he mentioned having friends in the Scottish police. So I said, well, if you really think we're doing something wrong, call the police. Uh, Round about this point, he had enough. He didn't stop ranting all the way to his car, but he jumped in his car and drove off. He didn't head local. No, he turned the other way and headed off. off. Um, so Lindsay was quite upset. She went for a walk to calm down. She came back and we had a cup of tea and started to make lunch. And uh, just as we started to have our lunch, lo and behold, the boys in blue turned up. They'd had a report of a camper van and been given the registration. Now the registration they'd been given was incorrect. So they had this report of a motorhome from a friend and they were uh, <coughs> given a, a, a number plate which they couldn't confirm for tax, insurance and MOT. So out they came. They very quickly realised that they'd been given the wrong number plate. And they came over to talk to us. And they actually asked if it was okay to check the details of the vehicle and ensure it was tax MOT. And, and of course I said, yes, they knew by then. They knew. They just were seeing how I was going to react, I believe. And they probably knew as soon as they saw the number plate and dialed it up on their uh, police national computer. Anyway. I, I aside. So we started talking and I said, well, I, I know I'm within my rights and within the law. And uh, he agreed. And uh, I said, but if you do want us to move, we'll move. There's, there's no problem. It's, it's just a good, just here for a day out. He asked a few questions in where we were from, what we were doing, etc. And we even offered him a cup of tea. But uh, his, his, his response was, no, you're doing absolutely nothing wrong. Uh, you're perfectly entitled to do what you're doing and in fact you're in the perfect vehicle to do it because you've got your own facilities you're not relying on most of these other people who if they need the toilet have to rush home or do it somewhere else and uh, carry on There's nothing we you know he was quite happy for us to be there they jumped in the car without a cup of tea they're busy people and uh, can do without people wasting their time on things like this. Anyway, Lindsay was still upset, but we, we walked about, we went and filmed, videoed, and uh, had another cup of tea and, and just enjoyed our day, um, despite the wrongful interference, shall we say, by a, a worthy who thought he knew what he was doing. Um, 
he just struck me as somebody with, who was either plain scared, but he, he seemed to with it for that, or, uh, you know, a typical not in my backyard, NIMBY, blah, blah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going on, I'm speculating, I don't know. But I do know that my stance on me being within the law is thoroughly vindicated. Okay. I've waffled on more than enough for this video. Um, let's just check I've covered everything in my notes. I remember my notes, I remember my sticker this time. So we've talked about stickers, we've talked about our possible freedom on Friday, a little bit about the day trip. There's a couple of cracking videos coming on that, even though I do say so myself. We've talked about the incident and we've talked about my drone. That looks like it. Thanks for joining me for Wednesday Waffle. There'll be some footage following this. Um, I was going to do drone footage, but I've got some footage of some feisty females in the back garden. Please enjoy. And bye for now. Oh, before I go, Monday was the last Memory Monday. We start on day trips with a singleton on Friday and next week almost back to normal, but just for day trips for now. And hopefully on Friday, after that, sometime in the future, we'll have a full Donda to bring you. Take care and bye for now. And sorry for the rain.
for watching Desmond's Donners. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.